Where you have workbooks with multiple worksheets, it is quite likely you will sometimes have to create calculations that use values on other sheets. Uma has exactly that situation where she needs to sum up the staff expenses from their individual sheets into the sheet HRQ3. In this video, we're going to look at a very efficient way of doing this called 3D formulas. Let's start by looking at the conventional way we would do it. So we would click in the cell where we want our answer to go. So my total miles driven for all staff members for July. I'm going to type in equals, come to Sean and click on his miles. I'm then going to type a plus, click on Uma's worksheet and click on her miles. Then another plus, come to Carlos, click on his miles. And then very important, don't try to click back into Q3, just press enter. And there's the total. So that worked fine. But imagine I had 25 workbooks. This would take a very long time and be very error prone. If I was working in a single worksheet, so call that two dimensions over here, I would not come and create a formula that said F7 plus F8 plus F9 plus F10. Would I? Absolutely not. I would use a sum function which says basically add up all these cells that are next to each other. Well, imagine that our worksheets are layered on top of each other. If we were to try and drill down through a cell, that would be, well, a third dimension really. And the great thing is you can use some functions in three dimensions as well as two. To summarize, what I want to do is sum all the cells C7 from Sean through to Carlos. Let's look at how we do this. So I'm going to delete this. You can see I'm not cheating and I'm going to type in equals. I'm then going to type my sum and open my bracket. So, so far, very normal. I then come to Sean's sheet and I click on his miles. Here's where it gets different. I want to select all the sheets from Sean to Carlos. So like we did grouping our worksheets in the previous video, I'm going to hold my shift down and click on the Carlos sheet. They've all gone white. And if you have a look at my formula, it's saying add up sheet Sean to Carlos cell C7. So all the C7s from Sean to Carlos. Click enter. And we've got the same answer. So that has worked perfectly, but it was much quicker and much less likely to error. We also have relative references still working, so we don't have to do that over again. I can use my fill handle to copy that across. And if I double click, that will copy all three down. Let's have a look at how to do that one more time. So I'm going to do it for lodging and meals this time. I'm going to click into C17 and type equals my sum function and open my brackets. Come to Sean click on his lodgings, hold my shift key down, click on Carlos and press enter. And once again, use my fill handle to copy that across and double click to copy down. Really nice and quick. And for the miscellaneous, because it's the same structure as these cells, I can simply copy control C and paste control V. And there's my Q3 expenses sheet completed. As you can see, 3D formulas are really, really efficient. There are two things to be aware of, however. If I were to move these worksheets around, so have a quick look at my public transport. Uma uses public transport and we can see it costs $125 a month. If I were to move the Uma worksheet to be after Carlos, because I'm summing everything from Sean to Carlos, Uma's values are no longer being included. So one thing to be aware of is you don't really want to be moving your sheets around too much if there are 3D formulas being used. Let's quickly put that back. And another limitation you've probably identified is that the structure of the workbooks you're adding up must be identical. So they're not without their limitations, but at the same time, you can see that 3D formulas is a very efficient tool for summing values across multiple worksheets where the structure 
is the same. Have a go at it yourself.